Today, we welcome special guest Nina Drenth to lead us in our wilderness wanderings. My name is Nina Sherman Drenth. I'm a candidate for Master of Divinity and for ordination in Classes Hamilton. Today our text comes from Matthew 6, 5 to 8. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, you have received, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, Go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask him. It is striking to note the fact that in one of only Jesus' only direct teachings about prayer, his primary instruction is to keep it simple. Don't be flowery. Don't flaunt your religiosity. Don't babble on. In this passage, Jesus is referring to the practices of Gentile nations, the pagan nations surrounding Israel, who believed their practice of repeated prayer provided some kind of magic power to protect or heal them. In contrast to that practice and belief, here Jesus is teaching his followers that God his Father does not require repeated words, redundancy, or flaunting in order for prayers to him to be heard. He is teaching that God wishes for prayer to be not only transactional, but also intimate and conversational. The Heidelberg Catechism puts it this way, says we must pray from the heart. Simple, true, honest, heartfelt. That is the best way to pray. This best kind of prayer, this simple, honest, true kind might surprisingly, paradoxically also be the hardest kind. One of the hardest things we could try to do in any endeavor, but especially in prayer, is to be wholly honest. Anne Lamont puts it this way. She says, my belief is that when you're telling the truth, you're close to God. If you say to God, I'm exhausted and depressed beyond words, and I don't like you at all right now, and I recoil from most people who believe in you, that might be the most honest thing you've ever said. And indeed, this is the prayer God most wants to hear. Why? Because as David Banner writes, the self that God persistently loves is not my prettied up pretend self, but my actual self, the real me. But we tend to continually confuse our real self with some ideal self we wish we were. In other words, it could be that the most poisonous thing that's ever happened to our prayer life was our sense of duty to appear appear pious or holy or quote, acceptable for church, quote, whatever that might mean for you. In our effort to put on this facade, what some people have called the false self, we've put away the self Jesus died for, the self he has gone to all lengths just to be with. So my invitation for you is this. Say to God now in your own heart, in your quiet place, Exactly what is the most honest thing for you to say? No caveats, no babbling, and no beating around the bush. He is strong enough for it, and he can handle whatever it is that you have to say. And as you journey on, go with the blessing of God. May the peace of the Lord Christ go with you, wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness protect you through the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing once again into our doors. Amen. Amen.